एवरीवन दिस इज़ वेरोनिका एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिकॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च सो विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट दिस फॉर माई वीडियो अपडेट्स यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड फेसबुक द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस लेक्चर विल भी अपलोडेड ऑन आर वेबसाइट सो दिस इज़ अ चैनल स्टडी आई क्यू इफ यू प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी गवर्मेंट एग्जाम और पेन ड्राइव एंड टैबलेट कोर्सेज आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल फॉर एडिशनल इनफॉर्मेशन यू कैन कॉल ऑन दिस नंबर और यू कैन विजिट आर वेबसाइट टू So now here is a question for you the Indian Council of Historical Research which conducts research on multifarious topics of historical importance is a premier institution under first is Indian History of Culture Indian History and Culture Society Archaeological Survey of India Ministry of Culture Ministry of HRD so you can tell me the right answer in the comment box so now what is the relevance of this topic from examination point of view uh in your objective level about ichr this council could be asked its composition could be asked in statement wise uh, questions and in subjective level better governance and management of historical research could be asked because studying history is very important for the world for the country because we can learn from the experiences and we we should know how we have evolved as a society as a civilization so this is a question for you you can tell me in the comment box what is the relevance of studying history or doing historical research now why it is in news because government of india has recently reconstituted the ichr that is indian council of historical research in new delhi and they have reconstituted it for a period of 3 years till 2022 so let me tell you indian council of historical research it is an autonomous organization which was established under societies registration act 1972 so there are different objectives of this indian council of historical research and that we'll discuss in the uh, next slides so firstly let's talk about indian council of historical research it is an autonomous body and it is under hrd ministry so here comes the answer to your question which has been established by administrative order so there was an executive order of then ministry of education and they established indian council of historical research so this body has provided financial assistance to the historians and direction to the research scholars in their multifarious topics of historical research. search through established historians and scholars of the country so in historical research there are there could be various topics some people study the ancient history some study medieval medieval history some study about the modern world history and there could be n number of topics so ishr ic ichr it disperses funds for carrying out research to indian as well as foreign scholars on their applications for fellowships there are certain fellowships grants and and symposia now let's see what are the different objectives of ichr ichr has enunciated in the initial pamphlet published by department of education government of india 1972 uh, so they have published their objectives as follow so they have what they do how what are their functions they bring historians together so historians from various fields who are studying doing research and history in various fields they come together and they share they share their views between them because uh, see history to a nation to a civilization to a society is very important if any distorted facts are uh, are spread so it can cause lot of problems if there is distortion in the history it can cause violence it can cause hatred among people so this organization brings historians on a common platform to exchange their views next it tries to give a national direction to the objective they thought to serve and they taught uh, they teach about scientific writing of history also because see when we write a normal uh, as we read editorials in newspapers and we read various articles there's a difference in writing between those editorials and sci scientific writing scientific writing is done in a particular manner that is what is taught to the people and especially to the scholars who are pursuing research in this field to have a rational presentation and interpretation of the history next their objective is they promote and speed up and they also coordinate with each other for the research in history and they emphasize on very special areas or there is a special emphasis on areas which have not received adequate attention so far so there are many areas many topics where res proper research has not been done yet so they promote those areas also for a coordinated and adequate attention 
for those uh, topics and research areas. They try to bring it in limelight. Next, they try to promote and coordinate a balanced distribution of research effort over different areas. So all areas get equal attention. They try to coordinate a balance between such distribution also. And in the end, they also elicit support and recognition for historical research from all concerned and ensure necessary dissemination and use of research so that the, result, the results they take out of the research should be used properly. Now let's talk about their composition. So what kind of reconstitution has been done? So see, there will be an eminent historian who will be nominated by government of India. He will be the chairman. Right here I've written he will be the chairman of this council. Next, there would be 18 historians, 18 eminent historians who will be nominated by government of India. Then there will be a representative from UGC, your University Grants Commission, a representative from there will also be in the council. Next, Director General of Archaeology will be a member director national archives will be a member and then there will be four persons from four different fields who will be nominated by government of india and these will represent ministry of education department of culture ministry of finance and member secretary so they these four people will also be the member of this council so now you can see there will be diverse diversification of the people and the members they will with them they'll bring their experiences and their knowledge and contribute in the historical research of the country and the world ultimately with to the ichr so now let me tell you one more thing here that in pursuance the almost all the uh, objectives okay uh, firstly let's see the answer we have already discussed ministry of hrd it comes under ministry of hrd okay so i was talking here about the objectives. so all the objectives i've told you in pursuance of these objectives this council is providing fellowship and final assistance to the young teachers in the colleges and universities and registered research or organizations as well as to the senior scholars who might need financial support so if anyone who's watching this video and is from the social science background because india uh, is really moving towards research and development because right now it's at a very low level in our country so research and development along in the along in the field with science and social it's also necessary to boost it in social science sector also so therefore these people are providing fellowships to uh, scholarships to the fellow scholars also so you can avail that also so you can apply for that also so this is all about this lecture if you have any query you can contact me on uh, email instagram facebook and telegram thank you